how did we forget about Chris Carson this offseason? It really feels that way, right? And, I mean, we started off the offseason, I guess, talking about the Seahawks running the football more effectively. Carson signs that extension. The Seahawks did a great job getting that extension. I started thinking about Chris Carson last night. Warren Sharp put up a tweet talking about the cap hit for Ezekiel Elliott. It's a bigger cap hit than Tom Brady's will be the next two years. It's a bigger cap hit than Patrick Mahomes this coming season. Now, again, you can structure the cap in a certain way to make sure that you're kicking some of that money, cap hit-wise, down the road. Chiefs, obviously, are doing that with Mahomes right now, and the Bucks are doing it too. But that's a lot of money to be giving a running back who hasn't been amazing. Chris Carson last year was underutilized. I mean, if you look at his carries over 15 games last year, 278, 12 games last year, 141. And then maybe there was something to the element of the Seahawks trying to keep him healthy for the stretch run, but they seemingly forgot how to use him down the stretch. He was the one guy in that playoff game that actually looked competent offensively. I know that Seattle's saying that they want to run the football more effectively this coming year. But I would tailor the phrase. I think they need to use Chris Carson more effectively. Specifically more. And make sure he's healthy for the final months of the season, sure. But you got to use this guy. He's got hands. He's got power. The one thing, sometimes he puts the ball on the ground. But, you know, we're talking all about this passing attack going into next year. This guy... This guy should be maybe not as important necessarily as Russell Wilson to the offense, but much more important than he was at the very least considered last year. He was an afterthought. I thought that was strange, even with all the injuries that he dealt with. 